How to look younger despite diabetes. Today, we will talk about looking younger despite diabetes. Well, diabetes makes the aging three times faster, but no more. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist who is an advocate for people with diabetes to help them live better lives. My patients won't do what you urge them to do unless you give them a reason why and why they need to do it, right? So today I'm going to exactly do that, give you secrets of staying young despite diabetes. Today I will explain why and what to do. Now, this information is useful for both new and long-time diabetics. There are many elements of this problem, but let's start with the biggest evil causing most diabetic problems. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, there is something called advanced glycation and products. In short, we call them AGES, A-G-E-S. Isn't that ironic that the abbreviation of these substances is called AGES? That's funny. But what is AGES in reality? Well, these things are called advanced glycation end products for a reason. They are basically end product of proteins or lipids that become glycated when they are exposed to glucose or sugar. They are linked to aging and many degenerative diseases like diabetes, of course, atherosclerosis that gives you heart disease and uh, stroke, chronic kidney disease, Alzheimer disease, and so forth. And these things typically get worse with time with aging. Now, animal-based foods that are high in fat and protein are likely to have a lot of ages in them. Also, cooking them can make them even more age-rich, right? And that's glycation end product. Every cell and the molecule in the body can be affected by these ages, including your hemoglobin in your red blood cells, which is what we measure when we test your A1C. How much age products are stuck on your red blood cells, which is an indicator of how much glycation your red blood cells collected in the last three months. Some glycation due to ages happen almost pretty much in every tissue, actually. That's why you show your age or you don't show your age. They thought to play a role in aging and chronic disease, like we said, but because of this, they're also taught to play a role in vascular problems that come with diabetes, like your eye disease, kidney disease, neuropathy, and so forth. Now, ages are formed when there is lots of oxidative stress, like when there is a lot of glucose in your blood, for example. It turns out that the ages, which are also known as the inflammatory mediators, play a role even in gestational diabetes when you're pregnant. In case of cardiovascular disease, ages can make collagen crosslink, which can make the arteries stiffer and trap the low density lipoprotein particles, which are LDL in your cholesterol panel, you will see, in the walls of the arteries. Now, people who have ages also make their LDL glycated, which can make it more likely to get oxidized and stick to the arterial wall. Now, when LDL is oxidized, it can lead to atherosclerosis, right? So because the rage, which is called the receptor for advanced glycation products, is found in the cells of the vascular endothelial cells, these end products can interact with them and cause them to become more oxidized and more likely to become inflammatory. That's the reason for most complications of diabetes, including heart disease. Now, how to eliminate these ages then, right? So you're wondering. Well, first you need to stop creating less ages, right? And next, you need to try to eliminate what is already made in your body. Well, number one thing you need to do is to stop eating junk. Sorry, no offense if you're eating your cookies watching me right now, but hey, look, if you do not stop your blood sugar from spiking, you cannot stop making ages, right? The advanced glycation end products. Now, on the other hand, vitamin C or benfotiamine, alpha lipoic acid, pridoxin, they all have been found to stop the formation of ages as well. Now, Aspirin, metformin, berberine, dehydroberberine are some of the medicines and herbs 
that can actually help people with diabetes, that can help people with diabetes-related aging. As a quick reminder, our two most popular supplements, the first one is SugarMD Neuropathy Support, has benfotiamine and alpha-lipoic acid and B-complex vitamins in it, which is a scavenger for getting rid of all the ages. Now, superberberine, which has dehydroberberine in it, also is very popular. So if you want to stay young, consider using both of them, especially if you have diabetes. Also, instead of cooking with dry, high heat, stew, poach, or boil, and steam your food. Now, ages are formed when food is cooked with high heat and for shorter times. So when you do grill, on the other hand, you should use an acid-based marinade that has, for example, lemon juice or vinegar in it. Also, it makes the food and actually spices taste better when you do that. Now, how to know that you are creating ages in your food? Well, if your food has browns or burns on it, it's a sign that it has ages in it. So no matter how it is cooked, on the grill or on the oven, if you want to cook something, you should cook it on a medium heat or a low heat for a few extra minutes instead of the high heat to char the food. Now, best way to cook your food is, again, I would say the slow cookers because you end up using less oil, you are keeping more nutrients, and compared to any other cooking method, you are creating much less ages. And recipes tend to have more vegetables in them as well, which is also a good thing. In fact, eating more vegetables and fruits is another way to cut down on the amount of ages that you eat, especially the berries. The fruits, the berries are one of the best for that. Now, I can emphasize the importance of phytonutrients, right? So when it comes to that, because these are found in the pigments of a lot of fruits and vegetables. So if a fruit and vegetable is colorful, go for it. There is one type of phytonutrient called iridoids that can actually help lower the levels of ages in the body. Again, iridoids are found mostly in blueberries and cranberries. Now, how about autophagy? Most of you know about this. Now, remember my autophagy video right there? Well, we talked about how autophagy can help you stay youthful, right? Do you remember that? Or do you remember how it did that? Well, let's have a quick summary on that. Autophagy is actually induced with fasting and exercise, right? So there are many health benefits to autophagy or inducing autophagy. For one thing, the recycling of the old, damaged, or sick cells go down the drain, uh, such as cancer cells or old cells, and your body can use the old cells, recycle them, and use them again. Now, toxins build up in the damaged cells, which, if they stay longer, makes you become you know, look older, all these harmful materials and the things that are not wanted will accumulate in your system if you do not get rid of them. Now, the autophagy removes harmful material and stops all these infected cells or damaged cells from your system. When your body is in autophagy mode, you go into safety mode. So instead of taking in energy, they use, your body cells use the damaged or broken cell parts to make their energy. Now, it is during this time of conservation of that cells become more resistant to disease and aging. So that's how the autophagy process help you stay younger. Now, a few final quick reminders as well for you. Now, drinking plenty of water and getting plenty of sleep are essential for retaining a young appearance as we grow older. Not just the appearance, but also keeping our insides healthy as well, right? Or insides younger. Also use moisturizers for your skin. So a lot of ingredients and moisturizers, they pull water from the air to your skin. And emollients, for example, they help improve your skin's lipid barrier and keep the moisture in. So that's extremely important for your skin aging. Make an effort to consume a diet that is high in fruits and vegetables and low in caffeine and alcoholic beverages. And when you're consuming food, make sure you're eating low glycemic index foods. Now, regular exercise is definitely essential for maintaining strength and muscle mass. Uh, you lower your insulin resistance. And as a result, that can help you live longer and adding many years to your lifespan. Now, that's pretty much all for today. And please remember to like, write a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, remember to check out our website at sugarmds.com. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.